Good morning, everyone. This is Elaine with Annabella's. Welcome back, all my stitchy friends. I'm so glad that you're here. This is floss tube number 31. So I want to welcome all of our newest subscribers and all of you for tuning in each week and spending some time with me. I hope that you will grab your current whip and stitch along as I share with you some of the things that I've been working on, some new products that have come into the shop. Um, I'm going to also share with you today some of items that have been out of stock that are back in stock um, and lots of other fun things. So uh, sit back and relax and enjoy this little bit of time that we have together this week. Um, I hope you had a great week last week. I um, didn't do really much. I, I never seem to do much. I think that um, we've kind of shelved going out for meals in my family now. We live in Florida, and if you haven't watched the news, um, then you know that we are now like number one in the country for this new uh, COVID surge. So we had just started going out to dine, you know, now and again at some of our favorite places. We only have a couple that we go to frequently, and, um, you know, I think we're going to put that all on hold right now. So I'm going to just be a homebody. Um, my husband was a bit under the weather yesterday, so I made a big pot of Italian wedding soup, um, and it came out delicious. So um, today I'm going to run home, I think, and try to get home um, to have lunch there uh, with him because he's staying at the house today. And my daughter's on her way into the shop, so she'll be here to hold down the fort. And there's nothing like taking off Friday early, right? Everybody loves to kind of take Friday off. So I'll probably go home and work on some of my stitching that I didn't do a lot last week. I don't know what got in my way. Myself probably, right? So I didn't do a lot of stitching last week, but let me show you what I was able to, to work on a little bit. So I'm working on Remember Me by Scattered Seed Samplings. Um, it's just beautiful. And we do have this back in the shop now. So this is what I've worked on and was able to complete. I got, remember, and this part was done last week. And then I was able to finish the flower. I finished the little bird. I did the me and I did the heart. So that's what I worked on last night. Um, I really haven't picked it up. Um, so what I'm gonna do now Let's see, today is I'm probably just gonna come down here and I'm gonna finish this right here. So I'm gonna finish the flowers right here, but I'm really enjoying this, um, this stitch. It's just so beautiful. And I'm gonna make a pillow out of it. I have to find some, I'm gonna look for some navy blue, tiny floral fabric to put on the back. And I don't have anything in the shop that would work. So um, I don't know, I gotta go online and see what I can find in one of my Etsy, shops from some of my friends that have, you know, fabric stores. Maybe they have something because Annabella's has nothing that will work. So that's Remember Me. And then, <clears throat> let me grab a cup of sip. I decided to start a project. So there's 20 weeks between now and Christmas. And I mentioned um, Judy, at, uh, Judy Whitman at JBW Designs and also um, Annie over at the Proper Stitcher and Annie was the one who kind of alerted me to this um, wonderful series that Judy put out. She has three books of ornaments, one, two, and three. This is book three. And what I've decided to do is every week for the next 20 weeks or maybe 19 weeks, I'm gonna stitch one a week. So what that does is it kind of breaks me away from the monotony sometimes of working on my current whips. And I love this because it's a really quick finish. So these are quick stitches basically. Um, so what I did is I actually started and finished this one. Isn't that pretty? So that's just a little stocking that I'm gonna go ahead and cut out and then I'm gonna you know, stuff it up and put it um, on my tree with uh, some pretty ribbon. I'm gonna try to work on this finish this weekend. So if I get it done, I'll bring it in next week to show you. But that's the back of the little, cattle, the little book she has and you can see um, that's the one that I'm gonna be doing right here. So I just love it. I love this. Uh, there's so many cute little things. I'm gonna do rocking horse next. I just ordered all the floss. So all my floss is in now. So um, I can go ahead and, and do this one. I think this will be the one that I'll be doing this coming week. Um, I think I mentioned that reminds me of my Aunt Millie. So, 
So anyway, that's what I'm gonna be working on. I thought it would be fun to just add little quick stitches throughout the week um, that I can decorate, you know, a tree. We have a big house now, not, not a big house, we have a bigger house this time. Um, around so I have room to put up a couple trees I usually have one in the hen den we have one in our family room or living room um, but we do have both now so I can do one in the other room so anyway that's my story then I got in some project bags so uh, my friend Laura referred me to Amazon and I she uh, shared with me some of the great zipper bags that are on Amazon this is an example of one of them right so I have these I think they came in a pack of 12 so I love these and thank you Laura if you're watching so much for telling me about this so I have a lot of projects that I've already put in there, but then I had already ordered these project bags um, from, what is her name? Her name is Sherry So Sweet. So Sherry So Sweet makes these great project bags. I got three. And what I love about them is that they're see-through. So you can see you know, your work right there but the, the marksmanship on this is just lovely. And then she, you know, does a little thread keep right here uh, with a little charm. Um, so I got this one for my, my fall and Halloween stitching, which I love, and that's the back of it. Then I got one for Christmas, for my Christmas stitching. Isn't that pretty? I just love that. I love the sleigh, beautiful fabric. And then the last one I got is a Lori Holt uh, fabric. So this is Lori Holt, beautiful. Lori's one of my favorites. And I just love this. So they're a little bit pricey, um, you know, not maybe that's how much project bags cost, but because I'm kind of new to using project bags, I'm not really familiar with what pricey is, but I think they were $29, but they're worth it because they're beautifully made and very durable and very sturdy. And you can put a lot in here, so you know you wouldn't have to worry about loading it up. Um, but that being said, it's nice to have some, some more affordable ones also in my, my hand done drawer for project bags. So that's that. Let's see what else I got in. Um, for my book of days, my cross stitch journal that I'm journaling, I did receive some stickers that I ordered from Paper Minty Studio, and I'll be sure to put her down below. I just love her packaging. Um, you know, she sends it in a nice like craft envelope, a nice cute little postcard. Um, just really, you know, nice stickers. She just packages it very well. It makes it very exciting to receive. So I ordered uh, four sticker sheets, two of Embroidery Magic, which I thought was great. Aren't those neat? I got two of those, two sheets. And then I ordered two more sheets of the floss tube that I had showed you last week. So those, that's the floss tube sticker sheet. And look at the project pack, <laughs> isn't that cute? And the thread keep, computer, embroidery scissors, just adorable. So I got that. And then she was kind enough to just throw in this little gift just so cute so anyway um, I didn't bring my my days of um, book of days journal in today um, it's kind of empty right because it's only what is today August wow, I don't even know what today is August 6th wow fast um, so I'll bring it in next week and then I'll have a, a week's worth at least to show you of what I've been working on which wasn't much like I said last week so I got that in so that's fun and then I um, had mentioned that I'm working on replacing my stash of things that got thrown out in the box. So here are some things that I replaced this week. I um, was able to order and receive leaflet number 197, Leisure Arts. These were the ones that I remember Aunt Millie sent me the most. So um, this is the Leisure Art, this is Leisure Arts Christmas stitching. And I love the back because this reminds me of the little tree that um, I made for my kids, mm, probably in the mid nineties, um, because I wanted to remind them that, um, you know, in life, you don't have to have a lot of fancy things. You don't have to have a lot of money to have, you know, a nice Christmas. 
and there was a time where my ex-husband and I were really, really struggling financially, and we couldn't afford to go out and buy Christmas ornaments and, you know, any of that. So Aunt Millie had sent me um, this leaflet, and or one similar to it, and I literally handmade all of these ornaments and put them in these little, um, you know, plastic frames and I put a little tree up in our foyer and I think I put a little card there to remind the kids, you know, it, it's, you have to be humble, right, in life. So I put that tree out every year. I still have it. I don't know that I put it out last year, but I intend to put it out this year. And if I do, I'll take a picture of it. But you got to promise not to laugh because some of the ornaments are just so sad. I don't know. I must have been rushing, but I'm thinking, oh God, your stitching isn't good. Um, then I got a couple more. I got some Better Homes and Gardens magazines from back in the day. This is from um, 2001. So I got that one. This one is from 1991. I got this one from Better Homes and Gardens. This one doesn't have a date on it. I don't know what year this is, but it's beautiful. It's, it's thick, it's a nice thick one. So I got this one too. And then I got a couple books. Here is a cross stitch Christmas that I'm replacing. It's pretty. And then I got Christmas stockings. This is a whole book of stockings. So I remember that I had this. And then Christmas keepsakes. Now I did order uh, two of these. One is actually gonna be a giveaway, an upcoming giveaway um, that I'll announce um, next week. Um, and you'll have a chance to win this. This is an absolutely, this is book two of Christmas is Remembered. Um, it's, it's got so many beautiful designs in it. And I thought that it would be fun to buy one for myself um, to replace in my stash and to buy one to, to give to you guys, to give to a lucky winner as a, as a nice giveaway. So I'll, I'll be talking more about that uh, next week when I talk about the contest. Okay, so that's all of Elaine's stash. More than I usually have, right? So why don't we spend a few minutes, I don't have a lot of store stash, but let me go through some of the things that I do have uh, to share with you. Um, we'll start with JBW Designs. This is a Red Stocking Collection 2. Uh, she does have a Collection 1, which is on back order, but as soon as I get it in, I will be listing that as well. But you can certainly you know, hop on if you like this and grab it. Um, I, I'm usually not a fan of stitching um, one color, uh, but I've really enjoyed it when I did my, uh, my new whip, my new project I'm gonna do uh, every week for the next 20 weeks. Uh, that stocking I did was, was an all red and I, I just didn't mind it at all. So very, very nice and that is available. Then we have from Rami's Creations Winter Coffee. Isn't that cute? Cute little snow, snowman and snow woman. So that's available. Then um, Jeanette Douglas, and we'll take this out of here so you can get this. This is Fall Into Autumn. And um, we also have all the other three in her series. So, um, but Fall Into Autumn is pretty, and actually this should be in my back in stock pile. Um, you've seen this before, I'm sure, if you've watched my floss tubes. But I wanted to show you that I have it. And I, and I, and like I said, I should have it in the other pile, but oh well. Then Tra La La came out with quite a few new patterns. This is uh, Merry Christmas. Sorry for the glare. I can't take these all out. This is ABC Roses. Very nice. Looks like Mr. and Mrs. Snowman, which is just adorable. I love this one. Isn't that so cute? So that is adorable by Tra La La. Don't know how to say this, but it's something in autumn. So it's beautiful. I've already restocked this once or twice since it came out a week ago. So, so we have that one. And then same with this. Uh, this is more of a Halloween berry uh, pattern. And this has come and gone twice as well. So these two that I just showed you are very popular in the Tra La La series. So a lot of new um, releases by Tra La La, one of our favorites. 
And then Needlework Press, this is a new sampler. It's not new to um, Needlework Press, it's new to Annabella's. Um, this is a sampler that one of my customers asked me to order for them, and then I just fell in love with it, so I thought I would uh, you know, put it in the shop. So it's called And Be Kind to One Another. So it's just a really pretty sampler. And that is available. And then this is the back. Isn't that nice? And then Calico Confectionery, you've been seeing a lot of new items from them um, that I showed last week on um, the Autumn Gatherer. And then there's a couple Halloween ones too, but they just came out with a Joyous Autumn. And that is a really pretty stitch. So anyway, those that's all that really came in this week. Um, I, I guess I'll go ahead and show you um, the fabric that came in. And normally, like I said, I do my Bella Bits on Tuesdays. And if you tuned in on Tuesday, um, I don't think I showed this, so you'll have to, you'll see it again if you tune in again. Um, but we put together a Hello Fall collection of fabrics. We used both uh, Moda Fabrics and Riley Blake Designs. And what you'll receive is six fat quarters of a nice fall bundle. So the first one is a nice print with all of the things we love about fall. Then I've gone ahead and added um, an orange to go with it, like a burnt orange. This is another print. It's tiny little pumpkins on a vine. I love this fabric. And of course the computer is never gonna do it justice. And then a hunter green. And then this is a nice brown sprigs. And then a nice khaki. So let me put this back together and show you how they all go together so nicely. So these are great, like I've mentioned before, Bella Bits are great for cross stitch uh, finishing, for small sewing projects, just to have in your stash when you're looking to grab something um, this time of year to finish a project or sew up something small. So there you go. So this Bella bundle is available. And then I also put one together for you in case you didn't want to get all six fat quarters and you just wanted the prints. There's also a Bella bundle available with just the three prints. So if you go into the shop, you'll see both of these listed, the six fat quarters and the three fat quarters. And it's called Hello Fall. So that's kind of fun. And yes, this is going home with me. And I made one up um, to give to a friend too because she's a big quilter and I thought she would love these um, these fabrics. And she's actually gonna do my hair next week because if you can see, it's like time. I just, I, I really think I should just grow it out. But you know, who wants to have gray hair at my age? Not me. <laughs> okay, let me see what else I have. Oh, we got some more things in the shop. Um, I haven't listed these yet. We have these organizer rings. Um, some of you, you know, either don't don't care about, you know, a fancy um, thread keep or you just want to have the rings to stick your, your floss keys on. So I went ahead and got them in two inch. So we have the two inch for you. We have the inch and a half, which is smaller. And then if you have a huge project, we do have the three inches. So I'll try to get these listed over this weekend and then you can hop on and get these if you'd like. And then who knows, maybe one day my very talented daughter will put together um, these for us and we'll be able to sell some Annabella's floss keeps, but we'll see. Okay, next we have what's back in stock. These are items that are now back in the shop that have been out of stock and I know that you guys like them because we ran out. So the first is uh, from Just Another Button Company. I'm trying to move the buttons around so you can see them all. This is the little Halloween button pack. And there's a big pumpkin, a smaller pumpkin, and then that says rip, rest in peace. There you go. <laughs> so these are back in stock. Then um, Pumpkin Patch by Annie Bees. This is very popular, it was hugely popular last year. Uh, we've relisted it for all of you that love this uh, designer, as well as that gorgeous black and white pumpkin, which I adore. So we have that. 
Then Snowballs for Sale, which is also one of the whips I'm working on, is back in stock, as well as all the cute little buttons by Lori Holt. So I believe that if you look for Snowballs for Sale um, in the listing itself, there'll be a link to the buttons so that you can also get the buttons to do the finishing. And yes, I was supposed to do this part this week, and I didn't do it, and I was supposed to do this part. So we'll see how much progress I make next week, um, this weekend. So there you go. Counting is hard. This is another one that I finished and we ran we ran out of stock, um, but uh, we just got this from Misty. So there you go. This is back in stock. Blue Noel by Twin Peak Primitives. This has been very popular and we just received a bunch of these. So if you um, were looking for it, you can find it in the, in the store. So those are back in stock items. Then let's see, let's talk about our designer of the week. My husband bought me a, this travel mug and it has this, look at, sorry about the lipstick. It has these things that stick into your face when you drink it. I don't know what that's all about. I, I don't want to hurt his feelings, so I take it every morning to drink out of it, but I'm like, ouch. Okay, our designer of the week is Silver Creek. Well, our designer is Diane Grick of Silver Creek Samplers. So she is just beloved. And um, I'm going to show you some of her most popular patterns that we have at Annabella's. There's others that are available in the shop, so I'm not showing you all of them. The first one I'm showing you is called Give Greatly, and it is also going to be our pattern of the week. So you can receive this at 15% off of this week only, um, this weekend only and that is Give Greatly. Absolutely adorable, absolutely adorable. So that's Give Greatly. And then this one is called Promise of Spring. It says no winter lasts forever, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so this one is by Diane. The next is very popular. This is my Christmas list. Isn't that awesome? Just ever, all of the things that we love, family visits and turkeys and uh, woolen sweaters and peppermint sticks and wrapping presents. I don't know about that. Who loves wrapping presents? I don't know. Maybe some people do. There you go. Then Wicked Stitcher Society, which I did show before, but there it is again. Lost and Found. Winterful Friends. This one I love. I really want to make one of each. I want to make each of my three grandsons uh, this. Um, and of course, Kobe um, is due October 9th, so he'll be my third grandson. And my daughters um, had uh, the 3D ultrasound done. I should show you the picture. I can't show you the picture. It's on this camera, but oh well. Anyways, they had the 3D ultrasound done the other day, and I went over to the house and got to see the nursery. And let me just tell you, it is so calming and so peaceful, and they did such an amazing job. It is absolutely beautiful. And they set up in the corner of the nursery, they have like a roof that kind of comes down, and they set up the most adorable reading corner. And uh, my daughter even put a reading light uh, there so it shines down on the, on the baby when he's reading. And my grandson Elijah uh, went over to, to visit his uh, Toto and Cha Cha, as he calls them, and uh, went up to the nursery. And he immediately gravitated right to the reading nook and sat down and got out a book. And the girls just said that they started to cry because they could just imagine, you know, Kobe doing that one day. Just, it was wonderful. I was so happy to see, you know, that they're nesting right now and, and getting all ready for the baby. And then I know what I forgot to tell you. So pardon the pause here in Stitchy Talk. Let me go back to Elaine Talk. So Elijah did come over with his mommy on Tuesday or Wednesday and we ordered in pizza. And if you're a grandma, you know that there's no sweeter words than when your grandson says, I love you too. So I was giving him kisses and I said, I love you. And he looked at me and he said, I love you too. So I was over the moon, got tears in my eyes, immediately sent him over to his poppy. And I said, Terry, tell him you love him. So he went over to Poppy and um, Terry said, I love you, Elijah. And if he said it to his Poppy, he said, I love you too. So um, he'll be three in um, November. So it was the sweetest, sweetest thing. So I'm a very happy grandma. So this is um, 
Santa's magic key. So how cute is that? So it's all about how does Santa get into a South Florida home when there's no chimney, so, uh, or any home really that doesn't have a chimney. Uh, so there you go. Isn't that adorable? I think any child would love that. And you'll, of course you get both designs in this chart. So that's neat. And then last but not least, um, as far as what I'm showing you is lighting the way. So we just love Diane. She is an absolutely extremely talented designer and her um, patterns are always available and always, um, you know, changing. I don't, I haven't gotten anything yet for Expo, Need a Work Expo from her. I believe she is um, gonna be exhibiting. So as soon as we do, I'll let you know. And actually, now that I've mentioned that, let me um, just tell you that we are now getting in previews from the designers uh, on what they're going to release at Need a Work Expo. The Fall Needlework Expo is going to be held August 28th through the 30th. I am accepting pre-orders through the 26th only. So if you are interested in pre-ordering any of the brand new releases that will be coming out at Needlework Expo, please be sure to, um, of course, subscribe to my channel because I am going to do a um, preview of everything uh, probably a week out to a week and a half out from the expo. Um, but for now, uh, there's about 28 items that are already on uh, Etsy. Uh, at the very top of the menu bar, I have uh, Fall Expo 2021, and you can go ahead and look at the 28 items that are already there for pre-order. I think we have Blue Flower Stitching. I think Twin Peak Primitives has released quite a bit of items. Um, and then there's a couple other designers that uh, Lucy Beam Threads is, is there. And we're, get, we're gonna be starting to get them every day or every week. So please be sure to watch that because uh, I don't want you to miss out because I'm only gonna be doing pre-orders this time around um, on most items. So that's Needlework Expo. And then um, I was gonna share with you our Christmas series. So um, we do a Christmas series every week. I try to share with you some series that you might not be aware of so that if you're looking to stitch up something for the holidays um, and you wanna do something that is a series in nature, you can do that. So Needle Bling Designs um, has a, a series called Mrs. Claus's um, uh, Bake Shop, uh, or well, no, that's not what it's called. It's, it's her, her release, it's the North Pole series. And the first one is Mrs. Claus's Bake Shop. The second one is Frosty's Diner. Now these two have been in the shop and are widely available in the shop, so you can grab those now. And then this week, just released last night, um, I'll be getting these in on Tuesday. Three new ones, so this will complete the series. Santa's Bed and Breakfast. Rudolph Feed Company and North Pole. Isn't that neat? So if you like this series by Needlebling Designs, um, you know, you can do a lot with it. You can make these into ornaments. You can do little bowl, key, bowl fillers. Um, they'd make great gifts. You can make one up and frame them and give them um, or just stitch them for yourself. So I thought that that would be a fun series to share with you. Then um, we have our August quick stitch. So let me share that with you too. I know I'm a little late. I'm six days into August and I didn't um, give this to you yet. So every month, uh, what I like to do is to share with you a quick stitch project. Uh, we put together everything for you except for the fabric because they are small stitches and you probably already have uh, a piece of fabric uh, and a thread count that you love to work on already in your stash. So uh, we don't include the fabric in this, but um, they're fun. And the whole purpose of them is to get them stitched up and then you have them to display, you know, in the next month or so, uh, because sometimes, you know, our whips are taking us longer than a month or two to complete and the bigger projects, certainly. So this coming month, this month for August is by Tiny Modernist. It's the Hen's Halloween Tea. So this will be our quick stitch. And I am including uh, a fat quarter of the gingham. This is uh, by Stitching with the Housewives, Priscilla and Chelsea. The ribbon is included. You get 12 inches of this ribbon, which is more than enough. If you mount this on a, a mounting board, um, you know, you won't need more than, you know, three inches for um, each side. So that, and then all of the floss is included. 
So this will be listed today, um, limited supply as always. So if you're interested in joining us as we stitch up this uh, quick stitch in August, uh, we'd love to have you. And again, it's Halloween tea. And I will have some of these charts available as standalone. So if you don't want to buy the whole kit um, and you just want to, you know, have the chart or add it to your stash for another time, I will list these singly as well. So that's our August quick stitch. I love it. I think it's so cute. Okay, let's move on to happy mail. Happy mail, happy mail. Um, okay, so last week's winners, last week's question was how many hours a day or week do you stitch? And wow, do we have some varying amounts. So I do invite you to go back to Floss Tube 29 and read everybody's comments so that you can see, you know, how everyone stitches and whether they keep track of it or not. So it was kind of fun. Um, now that I'm keeping the Book of Days journal, I'm going to try to start uh, tracking that. I'd love to know how many hours a week I stitch. Um, so I'm going to start tracking that. I'll have to share that with you another time. but. I thought it was really a fun question and I loved reading everyone's responses. And by the way, thank you so much for commenting everybody. You know, that really helps us and I really appreciate it. And I, I do take the time to read every single comment and I tried to reply to everybody's comment last week and I got, I think uh, YouTube thought I was spamming because I was replying, you know, I sat down to do all of them and I went back the next day and looked at all the replies that I made to you uh, were gone. So I went back and added a few and they haven't been deleted. So sorry, uh, I do read your reply, your comments and I do try to reply, but uh, I got kicked off. So I gotta figure out why that happened so it doesn't happen again. So that being said, our random YouTube contest winner picker computer <laughs> picked um, the following people. Please be sure that you send me your contact information and your mailing address so I can get your happy mail out to you to info at annabellas.net and I will mail that out to you this week. Our winners for floss tube number 30 are Jackie D'Amico, Carla Rigel, Allison Norris, and Connie Hernandi, H-E-R-N-A-D-I. So congratulations, ladies. I know it's fun to get happy mail, so I will be sure to get yours right out to you. And then I thought, I don't have a question yet for this week, so let me think about it for a second. I don't know. I don't know what the question's going to be. Let's see. What should we ask you? Okay, I know what I can ask you. How do you store your, your stash? How do you store it? So, um, right now I'm following, I'm participating on Instagram in the common... Uh, threaded stitcher, I think it's called. I'm not sure what it's called. I think it's a common threaded stitcher. Anyway, I'm participating in it. And one of the questions that we had to answer was, how do you store your stash? So that made me go upstairs into the hand end and look at how I stored my stash. And I didn't have a stroke. I was happy to see that I do have a pretty good system. And if you go onto Instagram, I think it was day, we're on day six today, but if you go onto Instagram, I think it was day four or day three. Uh, so just look at my thread and you'll be able to see a picture of how I store my stash. Uh, but tell me, how do you store yours? Um, that would be really fun to know. Um, you know, do you store it in bins? Do you store it in bags? Is, is it a box? You know, how do you store it? So that'll be this coming week's question answer. Um, in order to participate, you have to subscribe to our channel, you have to comment on the video, and you have to like the video. So if you will do that, uh, I will pick the random winners again uh, next week, and you can get some Happy Meal too. Then I want to um, thank everybody for, um, you know, the little gifts that you send. I appreciate it uh, and your, your kind comments and, you know, the fact that you take time out of your, your day to either go to the shop or to spend, you know, 30 minutes to 45 minutes with me once or twice a week as I do these videos. Um, as a family owned and operated business, it's so important to me and I know there's a lot of floss tubers out there and a lot of sh st um, shops that you can, can go to. So the fact that you come and spend time with me is very much appreciated. Uh, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are trying to hit the next level. And if you could share it with your stitchy friends, that would be really fun. Uh, follow us on Instagram, uh, follow us and like us on Facebook, and then be sure to join any of the Facebook groups that we have below. Um, we would love to have you join us there. 
Um, I hope you have a really fun week and I hope you get in lots of stitching time and quilting time and paper crafting time and I will be back on Tuesday. Um, this Tuesday we are going to be doing a review of the new Riley Blake catalog that just came out yesterday. Uh, I already did Bella Bits number six this past Tuesday and that was on Moda's most recent release. So if you are a quilter or you love to sew and you love fabric, you can check that out and see Moda's newest catalog. And if not, you can tune in on Tuesday this week and see Riley Blake's new preview of all the things that are coming out in the coming months. So thanks so much, everybody. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. See you later. Bye.